Um, so what I'm doing here is just walking through this, um, this structured process starting at the front of the sheep and then um, working my way back looking at the structure um, and then also obviously um, looking at wool style here checking for any um, water stain or anything untoward here so just looking at style looking at color length um, and then I'll be um, grading grading that U um, for me uh, that U's uh, at a number two which puts her in the top category um, I'm trying to select sheep for the for the environment that they're running and um, you know they've got to be functional um, for me it's all about balance um, balance of figures and balance of sheep and combining the two in a in a way um, utilizing the breeding values as much as we can understanding the things that we can't see in front of us and then combining that with what what is in front of us so I think it's vital to to always have that um, have that balance between objective data and subject and subjective assessment look at the weight um, start at the front work your way back um, look at the head the jaws whether she's muffly or not muffly um, at the underline here just how deep she is look at the structure of the feet for me it's uh, the tip of the the tip of the wool tells you a lot about uh, the the quality of the wool underneath so um, after a period of time you look for a really good staple and tip structure and generally those ewes that have got that that really good tip are the really productive sheep um, I think I think the key is to is to also utilize as many figures as you can so understanding the things that you can't see um, you know when this use in front of us I don't know wouldn't uh, whether she's a single or twin um, those sort of things whether she's a late born lamb or an early born lamb um, you know obviously stud classing situation to have um, you know you've probably got ASBVs on a U at this age um, you would have uh, you know you might have some raw data that that mixes in with that um, and then it's just being able to make a decision I guess at the end of the day you got to you got to be able to um, make that decision in real time so um, I think one of the big benefits that's going to come out of the um, lifetime productivity trial is um, it's just those correlations between early stage measurements and, and later stage data and also how that correlates back to um, progeny performance so um, yeah we, we're um, really interested to see how these sheep have performed as, as, and ranked as, um, as yearlings and then to follow them through, through their lives and see the sheep that do retain their fleece weight and re retain their fleece value and I guess on the other side of it is also the impact of, of reproduction on those other traits.